hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be learning how to make bar charts in python using the matplotlib library so as you can see i've already imported the matplotlib uh, library as plt and i have taken uh, two different list one is for the transport and i've given four different uh, types of transport and similarly for the passengers i've taken four different values so basically i took this transport list so that i can put it on my x-axis and the passengers one will be my y-axis so let me plot my bar chart so for that i'll write plt dot bar now in case if you want to plot a vertical bar chart you have to write plt dot bar or if you want to go for a horizontal one you have to write bar h so here i'll give my x and y values so as you can see they're already displaying it over here how to write it and all so first, uh, in case of x-axis, I'm going to put my transport. That is the transport list will take my x-axis and then comma and my y-axis will be the passengers one. So my transport will take the x-axis and my passengers one will take the y-axis. So I've given my x and y values. Now I'm going to specify the width. Width in the sense the width of each and every bar. So either I can give uh, one width, suppose I can give 0 0.5 or 1 or 1 1.5, anything like that. Or I can give a list of widths for different different uh, bars. Like here I will get four bars, one for bus, one for train, one for car and one for flight. So I can give four different values of width in the form of a list. So let me give only one for now and then we'll see what happens. So plt.bar. Then let us take x label. Now, uh, in X label, since I'm putting transport, so I'll just put here transport type. And as for my Y label, now for Y label, I'm taking the passengers. So let me go with total passengers. So this is done, and then plt dot title. So plt.title in the sense to give the title to my chart. So let me give it as transportation. And then I'll write my plt.show so that they display my bar chart. Now when I run this, this is my bar chart. So as you can see, I've got here four different uh, bar charts for bus, train, car, and flight. And um, the width here uh, is 0 0.5. That is, it is same for all the different, uh, you know, bars. Now, if I want to give different, different widths for different bars, so I'll just make a list over here. Suppose for the first one, I'll give it as 0 0.5, then 0 0.4, then 1. And then let me give it as 1.5. So... This is a list of the widths. This is for uh, four different widths for all these different different bars. So as you can see when I run it, since the last one and 1.5 width is too much, so it is overlapping over here. So like that you can give different different widths or uh, you can just specify one width so that the same width will be applied for all the bars. Like if I give 0 0.5, this is again which I get. So that is for the first one. Now this is the basic bar chart that we can make in python now let us try how to make a stacked bar chart that is like one on the other so let this matplotlib be as it is now let me take a list say medals now i'm basically going to make a stacked bar chart so i'm taking a list medals which will uh, take my x-axis and uh, in this let me put gold silver and bronze so this uh, is the list which is going to take the x-axis and now i'll take two lists one is boys and one is girls and these will be the y values y-axis values since it is a stacked bar chart uh, one upon the other it will come so let me take some values similarly i'll make a list with girls and so 
so here I've made three list uh, medals boys and girls now I'm going to plot the bar chart so first I'll add plt dot bar and then uh, since my x-axis is going to be the medals list so I'll write here medals and then uh, first I'll take the y-axis as boys and then I'll plot the girls chart so I'm putting boys over there then let me specify the width as 0.5 so you can either write width is equal to 0.5 or if you directly write 0.5 also um, it will consider it as the width and then I'll give the label since I'm plotting boys and girls to word in confusion I'm giving the labels also for them specifically so this will be the boys bar chart so I'm going to give the label as boys so this is my first one now I'll be plotting the girls bar so again I'll give plt dot bar and my x-axis is going to remain the medals list only and in case of boys now I'm going to put girls see this girls list will come over here and let the width remain 0.5 only and um, in case of labels this time it will be girls okay now here I'm going to add one more thing that is bottom bottom is equal to boys now this means that um, see suppose this is my bar chart so till here the boys bar will come and from this boys bar the girls bar will start that is the bottom part of the girls bar will be the boys bar their ending of that bar so that is why I have spent, uh, specified over here bottom is equal to boys and then I'll give my x label So in case of X label, I'm going to specify it as medals. And for Y label, uh, let me put it as athletes and the title as um, boys versus girls. And I'll plot the legend also legend will help us to identify which uh, part of the bar uh, belongs to the boys list and which ones belongs to the girls list and then plt dot show so this here is my bar chart so as you can see the blue part in this legend part as you can see the blue part belongs to the boys so the boys part is down and then uh, from the bottom part of the boys uh, the girls part starts so that is why I had spe uh, specified over here that the bottom part of that bar will be boys so like that you can make a stacked bar chart okay and um, now let us make a uh, now let us try how to make multiple bar charts so this was how you make your stacked bar chart now I'll give an example of multiple bar chart so let me import numpy I'm importing numpy as np and um, again I'll take um, the medals list So this will again become my x-axis uh, in my multiple bar chart also and again I will take my boys and girls list and let me take some random values so I have to take here three values because um, we have in the medals uh, list we have gold, silver and bronze so we have three values so in the boys list also we should have three values otherwise it will give a key error So I've made my three list now I'm going to write bar one so in multiple bar charts basically here uh, we'll get two two bar charts like two two bars one for boys and one for girls simultaneously so my first bar for that I'll give np dot a range and in case of range uh, I'll give length of medals 
so here length of medals means now the medals list as you can see over here it contains three uh, values gold silver and bronze so the length of medals is three now when i say uh, the range of three it means it will have the values zero one and two three will be excluded in that i'll just write it as a uh, comment over here that bar one will have values zero one and two and three will be excluded because here we are making a range of three so it will start from zero and excluding uh, three whatever the values are there it will put so bar one has got the values zero one and two now my second bar so basically this bar one that is uh, it will be the location of that bar one on the x-axis so the bar one will take the places one uh, zero one and two now let me plot bar two now for bar 2, I'll take i plus 0 0.4 for i in bar 1. So basically my bar 2 will be just beside my bar 1. That is uh, whatever the uh, location of my bar 1 is, I'll add 0 0.4 distance to it, 0 0.4 width on my x-axis and then just adjacent to it, I'll get my bar 2 and then I'll plot plt dot bar and here i'll give bar one for my x-axis first and with bar one i'm going to give the boys list uh, in case of my y-axis and let me take the width as 0 0.4 now if you want you can give a uh, color also according to your choices or else uh, it will give you predefined colors now let me take a different color this time let's say Okay, so I've taken this color and then um, I'll put the label. Label will be boys. So this is my um, first bar. Now I'll plot my second bar, which will be just adjacent to my bar one since it is a multiple chart, multiple bar chart. So uh, now my x-axis will have bar two. That is, it will take this one bar 2 and uh, in case of y this time I'll take the girls list and the width let it remain as 0 0.4 only and as for the color let's take a different color this time so that it will be easier to differentiate let me take blue and label as girls so now this becomes my uh, second bar now I'll put the X label so in case of X label I'll put it as medals and in case of Y label again I'll put it as athletes now here I'll uh, give an X ticks also but uh, let's see what happens without x sticks first. I'll specify it later. So first let me plot the legend also. And then I'll give the title plt dot title and the title again will be And now I'll put plt dot show. So this will be the code for my multiple chart. So as you can see here, I've got my multiple charts. Now here, if I see um, now the bar one, the bar one has taken the places zero, one and two. As you can see this uh, light green one, the medium aqua uh, marine one, this has taken the values zero, one and two. You can see its values on the x-axis. So as I specified over here that bar one has got the range that is the length of the metals, uh, the medals and medals here had three values. So three values means bar one has the value zero, one and two. Okay, because it's range of three. If I say uh, something is a range of three, then that means it will have values zero, one and two. So the zero, one and two have become the locations of bar one. As you can see over here, 0, 1 and 2, they are the locations of bar 1. And uh, as for the bar 2, 
whatever the locations of bar 1 are there that is 0 1 and 2 we are going to add 0 0.4 width to that and just uh, beside that we'll get our bar 2 so as you can see here okay, the, the zero is there we are going to add 0 0.4 to it and from that our bar 2 will start similarly for the value 1 we are again going to add one uh, 0 0.4 to that one and then our bar 2 will start for 2 also we'll add 2 plus 0 0.4 and our bar 2 will start over here so that is our bar 1 and then our bar 2 so if in case you don't want these locations over here and if you want uh, to specify the name over there so for that we will use the uh, x ticks option so for x ticks i'll write bar 1 so that uh, as you can see over here my bar 1 has got these values 0 1 and 2 so in case of bar 1 i want to specify it as metals uh, i don't want those values i want the names of the metal metals that is gold silver and bronze so i'll write plt dot x ticks and then i'll specify bar 1 because in place of bar 1 i want these names and then i'll write middle so as you can see in place of the bar 1 we have got the uh, separate metals that is this is the list for gold and this is for silver and this is for bronze so that is the uh, use of the function x sticks so this is how you plot your uh, multiple bar charts so we have seen in this video how to make a simple bar chart uh, this is the stacked bar chart and this is our multiple bar chart so if you have any doubts you can let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching and meet you in my next video